much better than that, does it? And Colin, you were saying how appropriate it was to have them against that backdrop. Yes, just for a moment there, when you looked at the blue sky, with all the contrasts from the various uh, airlines in formation. Just superb, just superb, and a wonderful mix of units and pilots represented, a wonderful mix of histories with others stationed at Biggin Hill during 1940. Hugh Taylor's recently restored Hurricane Mark I, a Battle of Britain veteran itself that on its first ever action of the Battle of Britain during August 1940, shot down a Luftwaffe Messerschmitt BF-110 twin-engine fighter during its service with number 253 squadron based out of Kenley and flown on that occasion by another Pole pilot officer, Samolinski. The Shuttleworth Collection's Sea Hurricane 1B recalls the Sea Hurricanes that were converted into the so-called Hurricats. Modified with the addition of catapult equipment, the aircraft were actually unable to land back because those vessels didn't have flight deck. So initially, because they were operating so far from land, the Hurricats had to either ditch or their pilots had to bail out later on. Range was increased by the provision of drop tanks and the type became a rather more effective and operationally useful weapon. The Hangar 11 collections, Hurricane 2B, making a very welcome return to Duxford at this show, recalls the Hurry Bomber, the offensive sweeps from 1941 onwards armed initially with 250 pound and then 500 pound bombs. And the newest of the six restorations, the aircraft operated by air leasing for Anglia Aircraft Restorations, a veteran of Operation Dynamo, the Dunkirk operations. It was in service with number 245 squadron at the time and that aircraft serial P29 crash landed on the Dunkirk beach much later. It was recovered and has been beautifully restored to fly again and that it did earlier this year. And incidentally a special news, it says you contribute to the aircraft's owner, Hugh Taylor, and on the other side of the nose, it says so, and that's in tribute to Hugh's stepdaughter Sophie, a great aviation enthusiast herself, who sadly passed away earlier this year, and the aircraft operated not just in tribute to the wartime service of that particular hurricane and all hurricanes, but also to Sophie, and she's always recalled whenever the 3717 takes to the air. A splendid way to start this air show, and we ought to credit, as we'll do all through the display, the pilots who flew those six aircraft for us today. In them we had Dave Harvey, Clive Denny, Stu Goldspink, Paul Stone, Peter Teichman, and Mark Levy. But now we continue with the Warbirds for...